Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. It's gonna be awesome. We are on our way to Mpumalanga. Obviously, there's so much to see in this video. Um, I know it's a little long, but stay with us as you will see. It'll be well worth your time. Make sure you let everybody know by sending it out to other people. We really appreciate you guys. And of course, stick with this video and you will be happy because Mpumalanga is a great place. See you out there. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. Guess what? We're on our way up out of here. We know we're leaving the comfy confines of Johannesburg, Pretoria, and all that. And we're heading to Mpumalanga. So we want you to stay with us, come with us, check out this uh, great weekend. We're gonna be with other people, so don't, don't freak out. Uh, and we're gonna show you a little bit more than what you're used to, but it's gonna be a great weekend. So again, enjoy, and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. See you out there. <laughs> this is actually my first time in the province of Mpumalanga. Um, I think actually it might be my second time. I'm not really sure. I rode with somebody before. But this um, ride has been actually kind of special. It's very, 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 very nice. On a Friday, the weather's great. You can't beat it. The, the, the views are awesome. It's great seeing the farms. It's great seeing the animals out there running around on those farms. Um, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel kind of lucky. I feel kind of lucky. So, um, yeah, I think everybody should just come to South Africa and stop messing around, as you know what I mean. So, chat with you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We have finally arrived here in, in Pumalanga, and actually we're at Glamping Adventures, and thank them for keeping us and having us here and setting up this whole scenario we're going to take you through so you can see it for yourself what glamping actually really is. Now, first of all, I want to, to express my condolences, not my condolences, my appreciation for um, for uh, Mpumalanga for being so beautiful. It was a nice little four, five hour drive coming up from Johannesburg. But let me tell you, some of the best scenes I've ever seen, bar none. And to include my time going to KZN. No slight on KZN, but hey, it was beautiful here. So now, and we're here, and right now they're busy setting everything up. But as you can see behind me, that's the arrival point. And this right here is another black owned company here based in South Africa that does glamping um, throughout um, um, SA. So again, follow them, look at their, um, their information, go to their website and see where they are going next because whatever you're gonna see here is what you're gonna get when you come with, with, um, with them and so forth. And of course, we highly recommend it. Hello everyone, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa and we are actually glamping. They got me out here, I was trying not to go outside ever again, 
but here I am. You know, I was in the Army for all those years, so, you know, I spent enough time outside. But this right here was well worth it. Um, we got an opportunity to speak to the owner and founder of Glamping. Yes. Here she is, Gugu. Hello, my name is Gugu Sitole. I am the co-founder of Glamping Adventures. We are a company based in Johannesburg and um, we travel around the country setting up camps and uh, glamping. We call ourselves Glamping Adventures because we provide a um, full service, you know, from um, um, furnished tents there to uh, catering. So we do breakfast, lunches and dinner for our guys and um, all they have to do is actually just get here and check in. So we do everything, we take care of everything. You know, it's not like your normal camping. Yeah. We just give it a little spice. So why yeah. should so why should they come glamping? And why should they choose you? Well, they should um, come glamping because it's fun. We yeah. we do a whole lot of um, adventures. Mm -hmm. So um, and also um, a lot of people love the the, the group thing. You know, okay. the, the collective instead of just you don't go on holiday. You just go on your own. When you get here, we do everything together. Mm -hmm. You know, we we go to activities together. We we sit at night around the campfire, ah. we tell stories. We 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 meet new people. So you know, if you okay. want to to meet new people, this is the place. But also we travel to beautiful destinations around South Africa. I mean, South Africa is gorgeous, you know. So, so where have you been? Tell them where you've been so, and um, where you're going. All right, so we've done um, the Dockensburg uh, okay. in, in Guazulu Natal. I mean, the hiking there is amazing. So we've done the Tugela Gorge, um, a 12 kilometer grueling hike. Yeah. Um, and we've done we've done Paris, uh, that it was, um, like for people that like water sports, like we did river rafting, um, and um, we've done uh, whoa, we've done so so much. We've done uh, <laughs> we've done the the wild coast. Um, okay. We've done. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that that, that is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It, it is a must, and the Eastern Cape yeah. province of South Africa is just amazing. So that that is a must. So um, we've also done um, we've done a, a quite a few places in KZN. Okay. Um, you are in, in, in having a, a beach glamp as well. Okay. So, so and um, we are doing uh, Drakensberg again um, after this one. It's very popular. Um, I think it's because of the high of, of the of the Drakensberg mountains and the hike. I mean, it's just so peaceful there. Um, it's really for hikers that want, you know, mm -hmm. because it's tough. And then after the Drakensberg, we're doing um, the Blight Canyon here in Kumalanga, three that's round devils. Yeah. yeah, we're doing the three round devils. We're going to the potholes, so mm -hmm. that's that's also amazing. And um, we're doing a nature reserve out in um, Middleburg okay. in, in December, and um, that's also that's also very popular. Um, it's it's sort of like we call it our premium glamping. You know, okay. that one is 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 a tear up. Yeah, and, it's and also you're a bit yeah. uh, on the expensive side. Yeah. Um, we're doing um, a New Year's Eve one. Okay. Um, in um, in out in uh, Bella Bella, that's in the. Um, that's in Limpopo. Yeah, that's yeah. in Limpopo. See, yeah. I, I know I know a lot yeah, about South Africa. Know, I, yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Even though I'm from America, <laughs> I'm I'm teaching you. But if you notice all the places that she said, especially if you if you're from South Africa, this is your opportunity to travel to go see other places in South Africa because we're finding out through our travels here that a lot of South Africans don't know South Africa. So with the pricing point mm -hmm. um, that they do have and all the locations, and mm -hmm. then of course you get to be outside, especially I was listening for that December, January time frame because we all know it's hot. We all going back to the villages. Mm -hmm. We're all going home. We're doing mm -hmm. our thing and so forth. So, But for our American friends um, who are here in South Africa, go ahead and check out um, you know her and her company. She's a black owned company as well. Yeah. Um, and then at the, at the same time for those that are in the United States mm -hmm. Come to South Africa now my question to you is why should people from the United States? Especially African-Americans come to South Africa Because we've got so much to offer, you know the rich culture um, The beauty that we have in South Africa, yeah. you know the, the diversity of people, you know um, They'll have the time of their lives. You know, people here are very hospitable, yeah. and we love welcoming visitors. So come here. Let us show you true South African hospitality. Exactly. Uh, you'll never go wrong. Yeah. There is so much to see. Yeah. So again, um, we didn't get your what culture you belong to. 
Uh-huh. Which, which, which culture do you belong to, Google? I, I, I can guess, but I'm yeah. not, not going to guess. Give it a guess. <laughs> give it a guess. Give it a guess. Let's see. <laughs> she put me on the spot. No Google let you, right? Yeah. Okay. See, I got that part. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't give me her, her surname, so I, I, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage. My surname is Sitole. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Help me. Pull me out. It starts with a Z. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Zulu. Zulu yes. She's Zulu. She's from Zulu. And you, so that means that she's from, you're from, are you from KZN? Born and bred in KZN, but okay. um, grew up in Johannesburg. Okay, where, yeah. in, where, where in KZN? In a little town called uh, Freyheit. Uh, that's in the northern side of KZN. Okay, yeah. okay. How close is that to, to, the, to the Thousand Hills? Um, Pool, that's about four hours drive. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. She, yeah. She, she's from the cut. Yeah. So, but yeah, like I said, you know, um, thanks for watching this. Like I said, you know, obviously follow with follow us to get more information. As more information comes out about what she's doing, she's going to send it to us, and we're going to send it to you guys so you can, you know, plan your trip mm -hmm. with this one. When Google let you from from KZN, yeah. born born, I mean, raised in Johannesburg. Yeah. Um, and if you have any questions, again, you know, leave a, leave a, leave a, 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 a questions in a comment. And we'll take care of that for you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah. And so over and above the, the, the this organized trips that we do mm -hmm. where you can just uh, call in and book, we do group functions as well. So if you're a group and you're wanting a getaway um, with, you know, either for a party, baby okay. shower, or we do corporate events as well. Sure, so sure. You, you let us know. We'll put that together. We just require a minimum of 20 people to, to set up uh, a, a camp anyway in South Africa. Okay, and yeah. as y'all guys are gonna see, we, I'm gonna take you through the the entire place, and you can see it for yourself. Cool, cool. Okay, now we're here with the tents are, as you see. But first of all, I want to bring some attention to where we are. Beautiful location here in Mpumalanga. If you've never been here, you definitely need to come here. I just want to bring some attention to where we are. Very clean location, very safe. As you see, we have a lot of trees overhead, so on very, very hot days, if you're concerned about, oh, it's going to be so hot, don't worry about it. Because look at what we got. Got nothing but trees everywhere, which is absolutely perfect. Now, for us people who like to bry head, you can bry, you can bring your own food. They got bry pits everywhere. Or as we say in the United States, we have grills everywhere, trash service. And then, of course, there are people that come out, make sure everything is, is perfect. And set for for us when you get here so it's a it's a it's a glamping experience a glamorous camping experience put together so that's what you're going to be able to, to do those who are like ah oh, man I don't want to be outside don't worry about it you know what I'm saying oh I'm missing these certain amenities don't worry about it there's power out here so you can keep your um, you know your power and the most important thing there's cell phone service a lot of cell phones on cell phone service 3g and 4g so you got you got all that and they also provide if you need it uh, a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connectivity as well so it's a great situation I think you should come out here and enjoy so right now we're gonna go and just kind of walk down this row here and what I want to do is kind of show you some of the tentage that we have here as well um, you'll probably hear in the background some chickens <laughs> you hear that okay if you didn't hear it we do have actual chickens on ground as well and it, it's funny that they're they're the proper size I know in the US whenever I have ever seen a chicken um, outside of the store they're usually really 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 big but these are like regular sized chickens I'm like wow this is absolutely amazing so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you one of the tents that that they use So as you see, they're very nice, very spacious. Um, obviously, you can, you know, close the little thing for bugs at night, so you'll be, you'll totally be secure. Obviously, you could bring your own bedding if you choose to bring that. Bring your pillows, and of course, you got to bring your cooler boxes, as you will see mine a little bit later on. So, but yeah, it's, it's 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 something I think that we all should do for those who, you know, the stereotype is that we don't camp, we don't go do outdoors types of things. Well, we actually do. 
So we're here a little early. Um, people are still arriving to this location. So um, we're gonna spend the night here. It's gonna be like a little fire pit going on. Um, we're gonna eat dinner out here. It's gonna be an absolute good time meeting new people. There's gonna be some Americans here. There's gonna be some South Africans here. Might even be some other Africans from other nations, but we're all gonna be here. It's gonna be a great and wonderful thing. And then what I just noticed, which I really want you to see, is this big old giant tree. And for us Americans, for us Americans, I'm so sorry, that we generally don't see things that look like this, okay? It's a trampoline. Now we know in America that they're that they're they're um, they're above ground. Here in South Africa, this is probably the fifteenth one I've seen that is that's that's uh that's built in the ground like this. So I'm not gonna do any tricks because I will probably hurt myself and I'm pretty old. Well, I'm doing. Now I'm not gonna do any tricks. So, but stay with us. Um, you will see. Um, tomorrow, especially when we go out tomorrow, we're gonna do a lot of stuff. But for right now. Again, stay with us because I'm going to show you where we are, okay? All right, everyone. Um, this is kind of where we are um, in this scenario. And um, one of the things that I want to let you know, too, is that while we are here, we got bathrooms. We got food service that comes out, brings our dinner, which is going to be amazing. Or earlier for lunch, we had chicken. You know, I, I like my little chicken. It was pretty dang good. And then on top of that, um, we have sh hot showers out here as well. So we're not wanting for nothing. That's why they call this glamorous camping. So now let me show you where we are. The camp itself is situated right here. And as you notice, this is our view. This is what, this is what we're going to see on a regular basis while we're out here. It's, 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 it's gorgeous. I, I know you can't feel the the air blowing off the off, off the off the gorge and and all those types of things but at the end of the day i'm trying to tell you you know i'm looking at the sun is i'm looking at the ridges and then what obviously what i can see off in the distance which you may not be able to see is the south african flags and it's good at night to go to bed and knowing that i'm safe here in south africa now what we're going to do we're going to go to where my tent is okay so let me show you Now, obviously this is, this is um, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to park our car fairly, fairly close. And this is our tent. And the most important thing at our tent is we got a cooler box, okay? And inside that cooler box, you're probably wondering what it is. Um, you know, I like my castle light, so I got that. And of course we got our chairs, hopefully later on. Uh, we have, a, we have a, a large group of people out here and we'll all be fellowshipping, getting together, talking about telling, telling lies and stories and whatever we need to say. But this is where we're gonna be. So again, we feel that glamping is something that we all should do in this company here. Um, again, they're South Africans, black South Africans, great company, and they do um, glamping you know, throughout. I think they were in Clarence maybe a couple of weeks ago. And for those who, who know Clarence, you know, it's, it's Clarence. Um, out there near the, the uh, Golden Gate um, um, Park um, here in South Africa. So again, reach out to those guys, um, book your next adventure, go ahead and come out, it's well worth it. Um, and if you get enough people, they'll go ahead and get a bus and bring all y'all out here. Um, so again, welcome to the real South Africa. So what do you guys think about this place? Beautiful. So far. Amazing. I, I, yeah, it's breathtaking. First time glamping? No, not first time. Second time? <laughs> Second time. Oh, you know, you know, oh, so you're a veteran. <laughs> first time camping. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So we came here from our first time camper. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, I'm hoping I'll sleep well tonight. I think she will. Let me take, let me take a video of this. You sleep like a baby. Yeah, not bad. So do you guys recommend glamping? Definitely. Why? I'm recruiting people because I love the experience. I loved my first experience. I'm loving this already. Okay. So, I'm the yes. recruit. She's the recruit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Excellent.
<laughs> yeah, no, definitely I would recommend this to okay. anyone. Okay. It's a nice getaway. Yeah. And more especially because you've got so many new people that we don't know and you meet them here. Yeah. And we interact and we have fun. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Anybody bring any cooler boxes? Of course. Of course. Why you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> After lockdown, there's no way you can't. <laughs> this is South Africa, right? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you are a glamping expert. She is. Give me, give me one, give me one reason, or give me two reasons why people should come glamping. Two reasons. Or oh, you can give me as many as you want, but at the minimum of two, <laughs> maximum of um, eight. Experience. It's really? The whole experience from beginning to the end, and I think the food as well. Yes. Very, they cook very, very nice food. Yeah. Mm. Where are you from? I'm from. Where am I from? Alberton. <laughs> where? Alberton. Joburg. Joburg. You drove a long way too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Way. Really enjoyed it. Okay. What's what's? what's, what's is, is she is she part of the uh, experience or is she just? She's, your, she's, she's the first recruit of him. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you she's the first there. camper as well. There she is over there, y'all. This is my first experience. Really? So Tell me about it. Beautiful. So, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, I can enjoy myself. And I'm sure this will be your last experience, right? No, no, no. no definitely not. <laughs> Okay. There's, there's no hope about it. You will enjoy. You I are will, going I'm, to enjoy I'm every it as it is. minute yeah. of it. Yeah. As you walk, as you drive mm. down yes. mm. those mountains. You know, the drive got me too. When oh. I was, uh, yeah, even though I was driving. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, know. It's I, like someone just drew those mountains. Yeah. yeah. And they just look like so. I was telling, I was telling Karabu, it's like someone just sort of placed them. Small, yeah. big, small, big. It's mm. just uh -huh. beautiful. It, it, it looks okay, so the drive was well worth it as well. It was beautiful. Very and this place is just I had to go to the pool. We need to go to the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so many yeah. Nice things about the pool. Yeah, I got some footage there already, mm. but it's really nice. Okay. Really nice. Where, where, where do you Visit drive from? Me. Joburg. I live in Centurion. Oh, Centurion. Oh, you live in Centurion? Okay. Well, yeah, why wouldn't I? It's nice. Yeah. But you have, a, you have an American accent. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm. no, I have a lot. Of, no, I, 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 I get to move around. I live. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are you? Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you. Yeah. Went I, to Africa. Yeah. What was that? Africa. 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 That's what you said. Right? The, how do you say it? How do, how do, how do, say it like you say. Okay. How do Americans say it? Africa. 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 No, Africa. Okay. Let me say Africa. Yeah, exactly Africa. like how I said it. Exactly, I've been here long enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Africa. Africa. Thank you. Yeah. You must say Africa. <laughs> <laughs> like a Zulu. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay, yeah. African person. Like a nice vendor person. Like a outside. like a nice vendor person. It must come from inside. Yeah. yeah. Not from the neck. It must come from. Okay. Come from not air. Oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's funny, y'all, because we haven't even been drinking anything yet. Nothing has happened. No. And they're, <laughs> and they're, and they're talking like this. And because that's why I asked them about the cooler box. Mm. Us people here in South Africa know what that means. You guys in America are like, what is he talking about? Mm. I got my cooler box. I mean, my cooler box is sitting out there all ready to go. Mm. So, okay. cool. It's going to be very interesting
How are we doing? I can't hear you. We are good. And you? We okay. We okay. What do we got, young lady? All the way from the Eastern Cape. My, my, my friend here is afraid of zip lining, so I think I'm going to go there alone. So you came here all the way from the Eastern Cape to go alone? No, Not alone? I said I still want to see Because someone. remember, he, she I didn't even see. get down to the Lisbon Falls. Remember. Oh, no, really? No, didn't. I have a knee injury. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all gotta hear this. She has a, she has a what? I have a knee injury. So going down, it's difficult for me to balance. Going up, I have no problem. Okay, we're gonna, we believe you. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not much. <laughs> oh my God. She's all about it. She's all about it. I'm not commenting. You guys, these, these two ladies are from the Eastern Cape. Come over here, young lady. Come over here with the rest of the group. Let me turn it around. These two are from the Eastern Cape. They drove 55,000 hours to get to... We left on Thursday. Yeah. So, with that being said, they are very dedicated to tourism here in South Africa. Am I right? Okay. Okay. So, why did you leave? The, like I said, again, you left the great Eastern Cape to come here. Does that make sense? It does. And explore the whole country. The we, whole country. Yes, we have our beauty in the Eastern Cape. Okay. But we wanted to see Umalanga's beauty. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think with uh, the, the, the COVID mm -hmm. pandemic, for me, it made me realize that I have not been uh, faithful to my country. I've been to overseas and stuff. Ah. And I just said, when I was doing my bucket list, I'm starting South Africa. Okay, and you were serious because you jumped in a Toyota, a Toyota, and, and drove <laughs> drove 500 hours to meet me. I appreciate <laughs> that's it. <a> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, we had other options. Yeah, of course, of course. We had other options, but we opted for them. So, people, that shouldn't that shouldn't deter you from, to, from coming to travel the entire country, view it yourself. It's amazing. So we're going to go on the zip line, right? I'm going to do the zip line too. Okay. Yeah, I think you should. Because you jumped in a Toyota. I should. I should. Especially with that straight. And she has an injury. And she has an injury. That's what, don't forget that. You said injury. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I, I don't want you to hurt yourself. But I got a physio. She's a physio. Okay. She will, she will assist. She'll take She's going to take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. Why are you here? To experience something new. Something new. Okay, so so this glamping experience has been good. So far so good. So far so good? Yes, worth it. Okay. Where are you guys from? I'm from Pretoria. Pretoria? Where? Patrickville. Okay, I'm from Centurion. Yeah, which very is close. Yeah, very close. <laughs> Almost too close. And where are you from, young lady? I'm from Mafiken. Mafiken. I keep hearing about Mafiken. I never got there yet. Northwest province. Yeah, I know about an hour and a half, two hours away from um, Pretoria. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You probably looking at my accent and saying, "How does he know?" <laughs> I know. You must visit. I, I I need to go to I need to go there. Yeah. Heard there's a nice casino there. Yeah, and and and, got, and I heard you got a nice king up there. Yeah, 
king. Yeah. We do have a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, ladies. It's gonna it's gonna be on her video. Okay.
Hey everyone, it's Latasha Blanton with The Real South Africa and today I have the amazing opportunity to, to participate in what they call the big swing. It's kind of like bungee jumping but you're not allowed to jump and I can tell you for sure I have been thinking about it for a couple of days. I was either going to do the zip line or the big swing and I decided to go with the big swing and I'm so glad that I did. It definitely was one of those things that if you have a fear of heights, this is the best time to overcome it. And I don't have a fear of heights, but I do have a fear of dying from falling very high up. So the fact that I was able to do this made me feel very strong, very empowered, and I definitely would do it again. And I suggest if you have the opportunity to come to Mpumalanga, definitely consider the big swing versus the zip line. I loved every second of the fact that I, I prepared myself for it and when he let me go and I felt my stomach drop, it was just one of those feelings where you you had to just kind of take it all in and just understand that it was it was just an amazing feeling. I can't really describe it any better than that. And as I'm swinging, I'm sitting here happy that I'm looking at all of the nature and I have all the support of the people up there with me just cheering me on and I loved every second of it. So if you do have a chance to do it, I think that you should. And if you um, have any fear, I promise you, if you just talk yourself through it, you'll be able to enjoy it just as much as I did. So hopefully we'll see you guys in Mpumalanga <laughs> and in South Africa very soon. Hello everyone, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. Hey, we are here in Mpumalanga. Um, having a great time. Obviously the weather is going to get better during the day. Right now it's in the morning, so the clouds are still in, but we're expecting it to, to the sun to uh, take care of all that for us. But again, we're here in Mpumalanga. Guess where we are? Lisbon Falls. Lisbon Falls. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. We're going to take you at the end of the, in this little strip right here, this little clip. We're going to have you down looking at the waterfalls here and it's all right here in South Africa. Some place that you want to come, some place that you want to see, something that you want to do. And it's just, this is just one of the locations here in South Africa that you can come to. So um, follow with us. And so again, if you actually look around, you will actually see how beautiful this is. And again, it's, it's hard to you know fathom that this is Africa. This is South Africa. So again, Stay with us. We're going to be in Mpumalanga, the land where the sun rises, uh, for those who speak the language. But yeah, this is basically it. So stay tuned, okay? Hey. Hi, guys. How are you? This is Mandela Kosi Zulu. Are you guys good? Please come to South Africa. I'm coming there. I love you. Enjoy, guys. We're still enjoying ourselves here. Yes. I'm with my friends. Love you. Peace. Cheers.
you guys can see yourselves. <laughs> really. You guys are doing the most. Okay, you guys, as you see, we've been kind of going down towards the, uh, the bottom here. We're not going to go all the way, but nonetheless, it's absolutely spectacular. The weather, the sun is starting to come through. Things are starting to get right. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take you all the way down to the best vantage point. Go ahead, Tasha. Take it.
How you fine? Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Hello. Hey. I'm here to see God. <laughs> hey. Did you have a meeting? Yeah. He's late by about 2,020 years, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Go ahead and say hi. Go ahead and wave your hand at the people here. No. Yes. Wave your hand at, the, at your potential customers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> okay. This place is pretty. It is. It's beautiful. It's lush. It's untouched. Hey y'all, we are here at God's window, or God's eye, or God's window here in the Pumalanga. As you see, it is absolutely incredible up here. Yeah. Stunning. Nice little hike to get here, but we, as you see the sweat on my face, but we're here. Enjoy what I see. And there's Tasha back there. There she is. She's always around. I keep moving. Oh, yes. You can see. It's pretty exciting times. You want to squat because this person's going you gotta do something. Make a move. <laughs> Say wave. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How about waving? That that's all. <laughs> that's good enough. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, my name is Akanyang. I'm from Bloemfontein in the Free State Province in South Africa. Okay. And this was my first glamping experience, sleeping outside in a tent. So, <laughs> yeah. There were no big bugs. Okay. As I thought there would be. And yeah, it was nice. Okay, so how did they treat you? Good. Friendly group of people to travel with. Yeah. Nice food. Okay. Food was really good. Yeah, and the overall experience was really, really good. So did you meet anybody? Anybody new? I met Mark. I met Tasha. I met Kina. I met a few people. Okay. Really nice people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so the, the views of where we went. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I thought Cape Town is beautiful, but Pumalanga on the other hand is just... I'm from a place where by... It's not really green as much as here. Mm -hmm. You hardly ever get rain. So it's a bit yellowish. Okay. So here it's green, it's lush. Everything is just green and lush and beautiful. Loved it. Okay. Loved okay. It. okay. Yeah. Um, another question. So, would you recommend glamping to other South Africans and, and African Americans that are looking for outdoor adventure? Yeah. 
I'm actually right. going to recommend this to a few of my friends yeah. because they're a little bit like me as well. The, they like the own comfort, sleeping in a house, yeah, yeah. With lights and everything else. I'm definitely going to recommend this to them. Yeah, and I would recommend it to everybody else as well. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the big question is, um, what's the real South Africa to you? The real South Africa to me is the interaction between different people from all around the world mm -hmm. coming together and just laughing okay yeah it's too easy fun. yeah all right all right y'all we are here glamping we are here in the we are here in the woods and of course we got this young young gentleman right here he want to tell you his story about glamping first of all he's going to introduce himself so you guys will know who he is Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Kahiso. My surname name is Lakodi. And yeah, it was my first time here, but it was a nice experience. The thing is, we out here living in the city. This is my first time camping in the bushes, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Probably want to do it again. And by the way, I'm black and I'm African, and I come from the Babedi tribe. They originate from the very province that we're in, in the Kodi. Ah, in Popo or, or, or in Pumalanga? There's a thin line between the provincial uh, border, so I'm not sure whether we're in, in Popo or Pumalanga. So it's a thin line between love and hate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The panorama route that we, we're on uh -huh. actually cuts the two provinces. Okay. So, so would you say other South Africans should travel more? Exactly. Tell exactly. them why. Tell them why. It's a beautiful country. I was at God's window yesterday. The view is spectacular. As, yeah. I'm, as I'm talking right now, leaving people whilst they're having breakfast, mm -hmm. I'm heading through to the Blade Me too. And then from there, I'm going to the Port Holtz. Okay. Yeah, we're actually going to do the same thing. Exactly. And then we're going to leave here, then we're going to go to, we're going to, go to Nelspruit the, afterwards. No, we, we're going back home. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going, we're going to spend a little bit more time out and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. We have to go back. It's all good. It's all good. have to work tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's all <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. So now, tell me, tell me about your language, because yeah. because you're going to get a lot of African Americans that are going to hear this as well. So the language yeah. which w my w tribe speaks, the one that you speak primarily. Yeah, I speak a dialect of Sepedi, Stwana, and Sesotho. Mm -hmm. uh, where I come from, or where I grew up, actually in Victoria. Okay. We almost just created our own dialect okay. out of three languages. They are similar. Okay. So if someone who originates and speaks proper Spanish comes to Pretoria, they wouldn't hear me speak. Okay. It's it's a lingo that we just created. It's something that, something that they do amongst themselves. Exactly. Y'all know how we do in the U.S. We we make up our own languages and we exactly. don't. You know, you from St. Louis, you speak totally different than the people that are from, let's say, Miami and whatnot. We all know how that works. So. The thing is. I've picked up the difference between how you Americans speak and how English people speak. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are two different things. Yeah, yeah. We, we speak better. <laughs> you speak faster. That's the thing. Oh yeah. We Do speak, we? Yeah. You run out of time too much. You speak faster. Oh, I, I thought I was. In, 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 in Africa, when you speak, mm -hmm. uh, I'm used to hearing the intonation, mm -hmm. uh, you, the letters. You pronounce them as they are. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. You say tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Exactly. Tomorrow. Yeah. You roll your tongue. I'm like. We don't roll our tongue at all. Sometimes I get lost. You speak faster. Yeah. I guess you speak faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's speak, all good. And you speak uh, a medium which I'm not used to. Uh huh. You learn differently at school. Okay. Between your US English and British English. That's, that's yeah. how. It's different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. In, in, the, in the terminology for those in the US. We um, like we would say the trunk of a car, and they're like, what is, "What's a trunk?" And it, it, they would say the boot, exactly. you know, the exactly. bonnet, the. On Friday, on Friday, who, who, Kim. Yeah, Kim. Yeah, yeah. Kim, Kim from yes. Kim's from the U.S. as Kim well. Kim yesterday in the morning when I was having lunch, mm -hmm. and we call them chips. Yeah, yeah. You call them fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of surprised. Looked at her and like, oh, then she pointed at me. I'm like, oh, you looking for yeah, chips? Chips, yeah. It, it, and it's funny, you guys, because like when you, when I, a lot of times when I, when I go come from the U.S. and I'm used to speaking at home, then I come here and I'm talking to a South African. I'm talking to them; they're with me, and then all of a sudden you see them go. That's because they, there's they, certain, there's certain terms. Which yeah, because the terms. Yeah. So, so you still got to learn proper English. 
<laughs> here. According to how we know it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but yeah, that, that's that. Uh, right. Tomato sauce, ketchup. Yeah. yeah tomato sauce, it's, ketchup. It's ketchup. It's ketchup. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how we get lost in between terms. But then it, it helps because at least on our TV screens, we watch a lot of your movies. And yeah. We pick that up from there. Okay. Is there anything you, you want to tell the people out here? Anything you want to say in particular? Okay, cool. But that's all we got right now. And um, like I said, we, we'll get back with you. Cool. Hello everyone, this is Mark Blanton from The Real Side for Africa. I'm sure you guys have probably been following us here on our Facebook page and of course on our YouTube channel, which all that information will be um, um, below. Um, think about it. Coming to South Africa, maybe not something that you was thinking about doing, but I promise you this, you've been missing out on one of the best kept secrets in, in all of travel. And of course, you're fortunate because we're here already to make sure all of this works for you. So the best thing that you can do is to go ahead and contact us. Go to our website, therealsouthafrica.com. You will get a lot of information there. Go ahead and send us an email and let's start working on your packages now. Now keep in mind that you could do individual package, meaning, hey, I just want to come by myself. I really don't want to, you know, bother others. Or you can come in a big group and everything in between, special occasions, birthdays, things along that, along that line. We're here to make sure it all works for you. So again, contact us at The Real South Africa. As you see, this is it. This is the real thing. Again, contact us. Talk to you later. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.